What's up, everybody? This is Emag24101 on YouTube.com. Okay, now we're going to be discussing this video. Cesaro, Deadly Superstar. Now, Cesaro, this is a guy who's been very popular, right, with the fans. You know, getting over. Cesaro section signs, right? Um, a guy that the fans love and they want to see at the top. They want to probably see him in the main event. Well, they want to see him higher on the card. Right? At least. At least. I'm a big fan of Cesaro. He's great in the ring. He's actually getting better. Oh, he's okay on the mic. You don't see him on the mic that often. But, these are people. Well, these fans. You know, that actually like Cesaro. Okay, now, WWE Management is trying to stop Cesaro from getting over. Reportedly, they're doing everything possible to kill his momentum. Well, let's get into it. It's here on Inquisitor.com. Over the last few years, WWE has been extremely picky when trying to decide who should and will be the man to replace John Cena as the company's top guy. In the past, we've seen guys like CM Punk and Daniel Bryan have a chance of taking Cena's spot, but WWE decided to not let that happen because of their physical appearance. Thinking that both Punk and Bryan weren't marketable because they were either too small or too skinny, yet they're one of the most successful. They're great wrestlers, and they're going to like the crowd love them, but yeah. Many Dundee fans would agree that former United States and Tag Team Champion Cesaro has the potential to be a top guy in the WWE, which I agree with. Uh, granted, he probably wouldn't be a star at the caliber of John Cena, but he has the talent to be a main event level superstar for many years to come. Unfortunately, WWE management doesn't agree with the fans. Maybe I don't agree with you. Okay. Back in December, Vince McMahon famously named Cesaro as one of the guys who can't connect with the WWE audience. That is a lie. But he pointed to the fact that Cesaro is Swiss as the reason for his inability to connect. Now tell me that ain't... I wouldn't say that's being racist, but that, tell me that's not a racial slur, you know what I'm saying? Basically saying because he's Swiss, that's why he can't connect with the WWE Universe, because he's Swiss. Um, okay, so, uh, but over the last couple of months, after consistently having the best match on every show he's been on, Cesaro began to gain a good bit of momentum and to connect with the audience. Now, when he accepted John Cena's U.S. Open Challenge, right? Um, I think that uh, in July, I think it was, or June, something like that. And the crowd loved it, and he had, they had like a five-star match, and it looked like... It looked like... He was gonna be a top star, he's gonna be, you know, higher on the card, because he was just a jobber, he wasn't really doing anything. After having a great match, it, was great. it looked like he was getting into it, right? But now, according to Dave Meltzer, the wrestling was there, WWE managed is trying to squash him on him, because they still believe that he doesn't have the potential to be a top guy. And I quote, Every week, Cesaro is less and less over, so it's like they're planning it this way. And that's the thing that boggles my mind. It's like this guy's starting to get over. And they're like, well, we don't want him over, so we'll fix that. It's like they're back. They're, it's like they're back. They're going. We got this one under control. It's not really conducting a good environment when you're trying to make sure that guy, that guy does not get over. The goal should be that guys get over as opposed to not getting guys over because they're not in W's plans. W trying to make Cesaro doesn't... W trying to... Trying to make sure Cesaro doesn't get over is one of the reasons why people believe that W has had trouble building main event caliber stars over the last couple of years, and why everyone is stuck in the middle of the card. In today's W, it seems like that that no one is allowed to get over on their own, whether it's a guy like Zack Ryder or a guy like Cesaro. If the guy isn't in W's plans, the backstage officials will resent the fact that they got over on their own and do everything they can to squash their momentum. Okay. Cesaro. Let's discuss. Former United States champion, former tag team champion, one of the great, well, a great in ring worker. Put on five star matches. Um, you know, he can put it on all the time when he lights it up in the ring. You know, now, um, yeah, okay. This guy should have been a world champion already. This guy should have main evented. Well, I don't want to say main evented. But yeah, main evented, well, pay per views, maybe not at WrestleMania, but. I mean, this guy's is in matches. This guy's art. This guy. This guy's in matches, but he's not in any storylines, really. I mean, this is kind of what I was thinking, right? When he faced Kevin Owens, right? 
I thought maybe he had a chance to win SummerSlam. Right now, when they had the rematch, honestly, I was like, he's going to win this one. To Kevin Owens ain't going to win two in a row, especially because Cesaro. I thought, this is me thinking, I'm not even kidding. Thinking that Cesaro's like a, a name. Now he's a name, he's looked, you know. He's already starting to like him, you know, they're getting on his side. I'm like, he's going to have to, maybe they're going to have a third match again, right? Well, guess what happens? He loses again. And then he, well, he did defeat the Miz on SmackDown. Just so you guys know, no one cares, I don't give a fuck if it's a spoiler. But, um, this guy should be on top. This guy should be in the mid, I mean, this guy should be at least a champion, at least in the mid card. Higher up on the card, at least someone that's recognizable, a guy that's, at least that they notice, a guy that they want over, a guy that's in the plans. But if he ain't even in the plans, that's not a good sign. If I was a Zaro, I wouldn't even listen to the script. I'd go out there and t cut a promo and just tell the universe. I mean, they're, they're, it's like it's like they don't even like Cesaro, even though Cesaro is great. And it's like they don't want him. It's I mean, it's it's weird. It's kind of hard to explain. I should say, it's like for some reason, like the crowd loves him, right? But they don't want him like featured on television at all. Weird. Like Cesaro is getting over. He's doing everything he could, but they just halt his momentum. And they don't let him get anywhere, which is kind of good. Or, did I just say kind of good? I meant kind of bad. Because I like Cesaro. I mean, he should be, you know. It's just unfortunate. And I wish WB can realize. I don't know, do they not see the talent that he has? But, I mean, I mean, I can't do anything about it. Maybe we should start a hashtag push Cesaro trend. I don't know. But, um, I, I actually had to bring that up to you. I had to bring that to your attention because I couldn't believe that what I read, to be honest with you. So, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video, share this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more. And I'll see you all you guys later. This has been Emacs2411 on YouTube.com. Well, first off, what do you guys think about Cesaro? Do you like him? Do you not? Do you think he's great? Like, what do you think about that? Be really blocking him? from being at the top of the mountain. So this has been Emac24101 on YouTube.com. See you YouTube. Peace out.